Welcome back, everybody. All right, so there's one more thing we need to do before we move on, and we have to talk a little bit about how this looks. So you'll notice that there are certain kinds of indentation here. So you'll see that this is indented, this is indented, and these are indented. Well, if we go ahead and we don't put the indentation in there, so let me just go ahead and delete that, you'll see that it gets really hard to read. I mean, that looks harder to read, but this indentation just makes it a lot easier to read. It works exactly the same, and this is something called white spaces. You can have uh, as many white spaces as you want, because the computer technically doesn't uh, read them. You can have, you know, this is going to run exactly the same as it, as it would. And the reason is, is that the computer see this highlighted area. The computer doesn't really uh, take that into account. All right. So, but what it does take into account is if I put a space in here, like that, we run it, it's not going to work. Okay. So it, it does put spaces in between words, but not between uh, semicolons. Okay. So the last thing is, is that you probably already noticed this, but everything is color coded uh, and it's color coded for a reason. Uh, it makes it look a little bit easier uh, to not only debug, but to program. All right. So let's just go ahead and run this because I don't like seeing error messages here. All right. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.